Right. Yes. Joining us now is Amy Cecil and Kirsten O'Connor. Amy, we have been watching that video since November, I think it was, right? And the reaction seeing that Joseph was able to meet Shaquem Griffin too, it must have been just so great for you as well. Oh yeah, I was just so excited for their family. It was so awesome for them and um, I just knew that they were kind of having this pivotal moment of mm -hmm. meeting the person that was you know, just this icon for them, this idol, somebody they could look up to for their son and they could show their son that he's not going to have limits imposed on him, that he's going to create his own destiny and he can decide, you know, what he can do. And yeah. I was really thrilled for them. Here, so we've been watching the story over and over again. I was saying that Isla watched it a few times last night. We, we all love it. What kind of reaction are you getting from this? I mean, I know that this was so special for it's you to put incredible. together. It's incredible. The people that have reached out to me and to Amy and to the Lucky Finn Project on Instagram and Facebook and um, all over the country and the world. I had a friend from a former TV station who um, recognized that I did this story and wanted to hear more about the Lucky Finn Project and had never had something like that in his life. And I know, Amy, that was something that you shared, too, when you first were introduced to it. Yeah, growing up, I, I only knew one other person um, who was a guy who was missing his, his arm from about um, his elbow. But it's kind of different, you know, than, um, than having a girlfriend or something. Mm -hmm. So I've never, literally until that day, that Orlando meetup, I had never met another woman who was missing her hand or missing her arm. And so... Um, that was like 34 years in the making. And just that day was so emotional for me because it was like, wow, I'm meeting not only this other woman who's missing a limb, but I'm also with all of these families of little ones who are looking to me and saying, <laughs> what's your experience? And how is it like for you? And um, it was just, uh, I couldn't even put into words what it was like for 34 years of just kind of waiting to find a community. I didn't know it existed until I was 34 years old, you know, so finding that community was almost like walking through the wardrobe in Narnia. <laughs> Finding oh Narnia on the other side yeah. of the wardrobe, you know, it was like I was living this one life and feeling very isolated and just didn't know anybody else. And then it was like walking through the wardrobe and there on the other side was this whole world of all these people that I didn't know existed and they're all amazing. And, you know, you go, go on the Facebook page, go on the Facebook page <laughs> and just see how awesome all of these people are, what they're doing with their lives, what they've been able to accomplish, what they're capable of. Um, it's just so cool. I'm like, I have a whole world now. I have a whole family like throughout the world, all connected on Facebook, all connected through Lucky Finn Project. And how can people get involved with Lucky Finn Project? Um, well, there's a Facebook page, so I have it here on my, my little band here, <laughs> www.luckyfinproject.org. Um, but also, I would seek out the Facebook page. Um, you know, you can ask Molly to join. Molly is the founder of Lucky Finn Project. Um, and... You can just see all of the awesome people that are there. Families can connect. Um, and then once they connect with the national page, they will also be able to find um, state and local chapters. So there's a Florida Lucky Finn, pa um, Lucky Finn Project page, which is what I was introduced to. And that's how we had a meetup for the people in Florida. Okay. So Orlando just happened to be the place that it was hosted. But that way they can connect with other people possibly, potentially, that might be in their area and actually meet face to face, which is, you know, just so awesome. Amy, do you feel like it's a hidden topic, limb differences? Oh, yes. And this story and Shaquem Griffin's <sighs> success has helped yeah. to kind of reveal how many people out there are hiding? Yeah, Shaquem Griffin is really, um, I think, opening a lot of people's eyes. I think nobody wants to talk about it because it's very uncomfortable for them, um, but it really shouldn't be. I think we just need to change the dialogue and um, need to change it from something negative to just talking about um, different doesn't have to be bad. Different is just different. Uh, so, you know, when I was growing up, there was nothing like this, uh, and the world was very different. I experienced a lot of bullying, and um, we still live in that world, especially with social media. We struggle with having, you know, just another outlet for people to be unfortunately um, unkind, but the more we change the dialogue, the more movies like Wonder come out and start mm -hmm. teaching us about, you know, um, how to treat people who are different. Um, once we start realizing what people are capable of and we start changing the dialogue to saying, you know, okay, what are their abilities rather than their disabilities? You know, changing it to, well, they're not disabled. I, you know, as Colleen says, they're just different abled. I do mm -hmm. everything, I just do it differently. So um, I think if we stop feeling so uncomfortable about talking about it and we just dialogue in a different, more positive way, it will it will just change the game. And we'll be able to teach our kids who aren't limb different how to be compassionate and loving and accepting. And then we can teach those kids who are limb different how to incorporate into a world that's different than them, but make it their own. 
I love when you say different mm -hmm. isn't bad, different is just different. Yeah. I mean, that is just, you know, great. That, that's going to be a motto I'll be, be teaching my daughter as well. Yeah, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Amy has so much more to share with us, so we'll be continuing to follow with her so and with Colleen Tid and Miles and, of course, Joseph. Oh, yeah. We can't <laughs> wait to Sweet hear more Joseph. from them. <laughs> he yes. is a button. Yeah, yeah. We, we feel like you're part of the family at this oh, point. thank you. <laughs> I'm so appreciative. Thank we you. Love I look what forward you're doing. to following up with you guys and seeing what seeing what the future holds. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.